Hi, Gordon Cook here. Uh, I want to show you how to take a video that we've made for like a video lecture and upload it into YouTube. Um, so if you just go to youtube.com, uh, in this case, I've, I've gone right to my channel um, for all of my uh, course information. But uh, anytime you're, even if you just start at youtube.com, um, up here at the top, uh, if you're not signed in yet, there'll be a sign in button. Um, once you are uh, with a Gmail account, it'll be here uh, like this. But all of the YouTube pages will have this create a video or post. Um, it's a little camera with a plus sign. So if we click that, uh, we can go live. Or what we want is the upload video option. So we go ahead and click that. And if we're not logged in, it'll ask us to log in. Um, and then we just get this uh, image here and we can um, drag and drop a file that we want to upload and you can just drag it right on in there. I am going to drag that in to this spot here. Um, now it's grabbed the title uh, of the file name and started that out as our default title. I can go ahead and edit that. Um, how to use uh, PowerPoint to make a lecture video. Now, while we're adding this information, you'll see that it's processing. So while it tries to upload the video and bring it into YouTube, um, you can take care of all of this editing uh, right here. We can give it a description. Now, um, the description is helpful for how YouTube search works. And from what I understand, the first maybe 10 words are weighted more heavy and are what kind of matter more. Um, PowerPoint record feature. Yay. Um, you can see it's still processing here, um, but it's already created the name for our link. Um, and we come down here. Now, once it's loaded, it'll show us uh, a couple frame grabs that we can use for the um, uh, thumbnail that gets shown. If we had one built, we could just make a PowerPoint slide and save it as a PNG or a JPEG. You can upload a file that you want right there. If we have any playlists on our um, channel, we can select it right now and say, I want this in my faculty demos uh, playlist. Oh, so you see we've now uploaded and I can pick um, which one of these uh, pre-done frame grabs I want to grab or I can upload a video. Uh, now with the new YouTube thing, uh, there's a lot of emphasis about what is uh, for kids or not and how they do their advertising. So I'm going to mark this now. This isn't a kid's video. It doesn't need to be on YouTube Kids. Um, I don't have any age restrictions. I don't need to make this uh, for 18 and older. Um, there are other options in here, but we can just kind of go with defaults and we hit next. Um, now, if you want to add an end screen, um, which if you're running a channel, you might want to do, you can do that. Uh, or adding cards is a thing you can do at this time. It's more of a, if you're really running a YouTube channel thing. And then visibility. So this is the last thing you got to think about. Um, so a private video, only uh, you're going to control what usernames can see it. You probably don't want that. So unlisted is one option. It won't show up in YouTube search but you can take this link and you can give it to anyone. Um, now they can forward that link and it will be shared with anybody that they want can get to it. As long as someone has a link, they can watch it, but it won't be in search um, or we can hit uh, public and it'll show up in searches and anyone can watch it. And now that we're done, we can just hit publish. Um, and there you go. It is now published and up on YouTube. All right. Take care.